In this video, I want to illustrate the calculation of a sample mean from a frequency distribution. Now, I put down a set of data here to get started. Uh, it's not put in the form of a frequency distribution. It's just a plain set of data. Now, when asked to find the average or the mean of such a set of data, the students will always say that, you well, you add the values and divide by the total number of items. And that's exactly correct. And that's the whole idea behind arithmetic mean. So let's quickly do this just so we know what the average is going to be here. Well, if I go through and add these, uh, I could say, well, what, 3 plus 1, that's 4. 4 is 6, plus 3 is 9, plus another 3 is 12, plus 4 is going to be 16, plus 1 is going to be 17, 19, 3 is 22, plus 2 is a total of 24. Okay, and how many items did we have? Well, we had 10 items, so the average is going to be 24 divided by 10, which is 2.4. Okay, well, that was actually mentally quite a bit of work here. Uh, now, and it's not bad, though, if you have only 10 items, but what if you have 30 items? What if you have 90 items? What if you have a half million items? Well, nobody's going to sit down and add up manually a half million items, things like that. So the way you proceed is you take when you have a large set of data, that data is usually presented in the form of a frequency distribution. So let's quickly form a frequency distribution from these numbers. Well, what do we have here? With the values, let's look at the possible values here. Uh, they usually That's usually called x. Uh, and we'll see that it's 1, 2, 3, and 4. Those are the values that occur in my list. Well, what's the count? Well, the count is often called the frequency, and that's just how many times each number occurs here. Well, let's take a look. Well, there's a 1 here and a 1 there. There's two of those. What about a 2? Well, there's 1, 2, 3 2s. How many 3s do we have? Well, there's 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 3s and just a 1 4 sitting there. All right, now, the idea of using a frequency distribution here to calculate the mean uh, is to just replace the addition we went through here by multiplication. So let's see how this works. If I go over here and change the color. Okay, so let's look at the one values. Well, we had a one here that we added and a one there that we added. Okay, instead of doing that, we could have just multiplied 1 times 2. What about the two values? Well, there were three of them. There was a 3 value here, a 3 here, 3 there. Whoops. Well, okay, the three values, there were three of them. Uh, there were four of them, sorry. I skipped one here. So we found there were four 3 values, so that's just going to be a total of 12. If I just added up the 3s by themselves, it would give me 12. Now, let's see, I skipped the 2. So what do we have here? Here's a 2, a 2, and a 2. Yes, there are three 2. So I can find the sum of just adding up those three 2s by multiplying 2 times 3 to get 6. And, of course, there's just one 4 hitter. So uh, 4 times 1 is 4. I don't even have to multiply that out. And so our sum here, you see, what we've done here is just rearrange all of these numbers so that we put them all together. And so if I form the sum here, which is a little easier actually, because 6 and 4 is 10, this plus 12 is 22, so this is a total of 24. And what does our mean come out to be? Well, it's going to be this sum here divided by the total number of count, which is total number of data items that we had here, that was 10, and of course we get exactly the same thing, because all we did with by using the 
frequency distribution here was to group together all of the common items so that we could use multiplication when we could instead of a lot of repeated addition. Well, let's summarize this so that we can see what we've actually done here. So we started out, we had a frequency distribution. So let's make up one. Here's the values. And so supposing our items were x1 to xk, those are the values instead of 1 to 4. And our account over here, we'll call them f1 to fk instead of the count that was in the example. Now, what was the process we went through? Well, we formed a new column here where we multiplied the value times the frequency that it occurred. So x1 times f1, etc., xk times fk. And so this was exactly what we did over here. Uh, instead of adding up 2 to itself three times, we just multiplied. And then we finished this off by uh, looking at some sums here. Here was a sum down here. And we added these up. I'll just call that in for short, the sum of all the frequencies. And our value for the mean down here was just going to be the sum, which maybe I should write out again in summation notation, divided by the total number of, of items that we were adding up here. So uh, this actually is the standard formula that is found in uh, textbooks that tell you how to form the mean of a, of a set of data uh, when it's given in a frequency distribution. Well, thanks for watching.